So let's start talking about black women in the military who was screwed over a tad bit more than the men. So when the statement always come out, who is the most disrespected person in America is the black woman. And the reason I even say that is because I have proof right here of jobs being promised. As long as you join the military, you could train, we'll train you for this job to don't train them for that job. And this is where I would say it was a double screw job. So let's go into it. Black women also experienced segregation and discrimination in the auxiliary care units that were designed for women who wished to serve as nurses and cooks during the war. World War II arrived in an era when gender roles were finally beginning to change. Following the Great Depression of the 1930s, many women entered the workforce because they needed more money to provide for themselves and their families. And the call to join the war effort brought even more women into the labor force. And they were welcome. Well, at least the white women were. Wartime may have necessitated that America change its mind on some issues, but racism wasn't really one of them. So while black women were able to join the civilian corps, it didn't mean that they would be treated well once they were a part of it. There were organizations designed for each branch of the military that promised career opportunities for women who joined the war effort, including the Women's Army Corps, Women Accepted for Volunteer Emergency Services, and Women's Air Force Service Pilots. While many white women could expect to receive medical training, earn leadership roles, or in the case of the Air Force, even operate aircrafts, black women who joined were largely relegated to menial labor. For example, at Fort Devens, a military base in Boston, Massachusetts, Black women who were part of the Army Corps were promised training as medical technicians, but were instead relegated to positions as hospital orderlies. Despite these limitations, Black women distinguished themselves in service. So, let's break this down. The military, military, United States at that time even understood that in order for us to win World War II, we're going to have to, at the very least, temporarily understand that we need women to either either in the military, at war, or at home to stand up, take our place, whatever. We need their effort. And even after all that is said, while that was understood that we need to have women help in this war effort. We still cannot look past skin color. So thank you for coming in to help us, but please understand who you are. And even the white women, the ones who are fight for, fighting for liberty, to fight alongside their men, still treated black women the exact same way. Exact same. Nothing different. Know, know your place. And anything, we will promise you a career to get ahead once this war is over. And, if, and I'm sorry to say this because y'all, some people don't believe that America is like this. We promise black women a chance to give you training in a career that you can take it to your civilian life as soon as this war is over and you go back to knowing damn well you wasn't. Knowing you wasn't. Knowing beyond a shadow of a doubt that you wasn't going to do that. As a matter of fact, I will go one step further. I will go one step further, but I'm gonna let every I'm gonna let Tracy get her say so in. Oh, you want me to? Oh, I'm oh like, you want me to talk? Okay. Yeah. Um, why me first? You could wait to Anna. Um, let's see. 
Gee, the 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 U.S. government making promises that it doesn't intend to keep. Why am I not surprised? Really, really, you say you want us to be one America and in America great. No, America is not great. This and the way that uh, blacks are recruited now, I would argue, well, I would argue that it's just as bad. It's seen as a way to, uh, to get free college, to get free uh, health care, although they never tell you that soldiers are encouraged to apply for SNAP benefits, but yet we have billions of dollars to go to war uh, defense contractors. Don't Please don't start me on that. Do not start me on that. But in terms of this video, I know, of course, then and now is totally different. I would say if I knew, if I was living then, I would be like this, I'd be like this. But I probably wouldn't. I'd probably be like, oh, this is a great opportunity. This is this is something I can do. I can help my family. I can, you know, provide for them, put food on the table, et cetera, et cetera. I would like to think I would be more radical. I would like to think I'd be like, no, I'm not. You can serve your own dang on self and fight your own wars. But I don't know if I would. I'm pretty sure I would fall in line. Like those black women, they probably thought, you know what, we're getting a great opportunity. This isn't this isn't happening to us in our communities. So it's it, it's I don't even know what to say. I, this kind of stuff it makes me mad. It really I know things to say. Well, you shouldn't be mad, but it makes me mad because if you don't want me to be equal um say you d just say hey i think you're lesser than because you're black you have every right to be racist but when it starts affecting me that's when i'm gonna come back so you know i'm going all over the place but because i'm trying to i'm trying to like curtail my anger I'm like really trying to curtail it and not say what I want to say because there's all I want to say, but I know it's not appropriate for me to say it. I can't with this. I, I, I just can't. You can type it in the private messenger. I'll say it for you. No, it's not curse. It's just like I wish I could get. Then don't say it. it. Ain't got no cuss words in it. I don't want to hear it. It's just I wish I could get my thoughts more. Like, I know how I feel, but I have a hard time, like, putting it together like this. I feel like this, 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 and this. I'm, no, um, but it just infuriates me. It infuriates me that this is still happening, and this is 2023. We're now in a whole new century, and we're still dealing with the same garbage that we've been dealing with ever since this country was founded. We got to do better than this. We've got to do better than this. This is trifling. That's what I wanted to say. Well said. Allie, you got anything? The only thing that I could add is that if you think things are harder for women, they're twice as hard for black women. You didn't pay them hardly anything tell them they're gonna be oh can learn skills so you can maybe get a job in a hospital as an orderly i'm pretty sure that they would have wanted to be nurses and doctors but misogyny runs rampant in the army in all the branches and content warning but there's far too much sexual assault (laughs) 
and just abuses of power. And that's what it always comes down to. It's disgusting. I, there's really not much more to add. So let's go ahead and get into it. What are the hospital orderlies? Uh, go get the patient. Um, They're like LPNs. So Parker, um, actually, no, they're they're less than LPNs. No, I'm sorry, LPNs have more duties. They right, they they yeah. can actually administer like medicine and stuff. They're they're a low end nurse as an LPN, but an orderly, you maybe bring a blanket. Or a toothbrush. You don't take care of the medicine. You don't take care of the care of the patient. You make sure the room is clean. Nurse. Promise him. Bring, bring me a blanket. Mm -hmm. no, not much training for bring, bringing a blanket, a toothbrush, a toothpaste. Yo, Dash. Dash just hey, dropped in to say he was dropping Dash, a light. Hey, Dash. That's good to see you. Dash, Dash may be out cooking, so he may be listening in. I agree with Adam's talk. Nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> Inclusives of segregation, my A, there's a difference between segregation and separation in the way Theus was describing for the purpose of healing and mutual mutual. Neutrality within a group. Neutrality within a group. Thank Not you. Not to be correcting you, but hey, if you hear me say a word and I have no idea how to pronounce, please jump in there because I will machuku all that word all the way. Machuku, machalo, bukaluka, say something. <laughs> <I'm> going. <laughs> hey, <Bobby. laughs> thank you, thank you, Dash. Barbecue, that's my, that's my boy. I hate that I missed his show uh, last Wednesday. I got busy doing something else. And but and by the way, I don't know if he's still on or not. His show really struck me because his show was like a little over an hour. So I was like... Oh, sure. It was really short. It was like, I'm not used to you being on for an hour. Of course, you're not going to be on three hours because you're not bringing me and the rest of the crew back on there. But whatever. I'll forgive you. Oh, never mind. I looked it up. But Orly is just basically a sister who helps out to the hospital staff but isn't given an official meaningful position so that they are relegated to... I'm pretty They're sure you're basically good. lower than the cleaning staff. You're basically the cleaning staff. The cleaning yeah, you're staff. The, yeah, you're staff. the cleaning staff. Mm -hmm. Okay, Dash provided the old break and remember it. Yeah, you remember Dash. I'll buy you again when it's needed. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, you're you're you take it, make the hospital into a hotel. You're the cleaning <laughs> staff. Dash, are you the one mom was talking about one time saying you were wrestling? Please don't get him up on this stuff. Night guys, I have a long drive in the AM. Take care and be safe out there. Good night. Have a good one, Dash. Hi, hi everybody. Look like I missed a lot of taking a break. No, we just got started. Yes, guilty mm -hmm. is wrestling fan. He is not a wrestling fan. He just don't like me saying wrestling instead of wrestling. Wrestling. It's wrestling. I'm in the South. We've been saying wrestling since I was a kid. I'm not a wrestling mm -hmm. fan. I give Marlon grief for him being a fan. But, he, but this is the same guy who says water. I don't even know how to spell water. W-A-D-E-R. D-E-R, yeah. Water. I I even know how to spell water. That, I mean, that's spell. How, I know how to say water. That's how I learned it. But there are all kinds of different sounds like, in different parts of the country like sink it's sink yeah yeah i was gonna say you mean the sink that you put dishes yeah, in it's sink. 
so much of the hate mm-hmm. and bigotry mm-hmm. and fear raised me. I have no idea how black and brown people keep it's from a hard road to try. It's, it's a hard road to try. It's a hard one, especially when you black and you female. <laughs> That's so like let's... two strikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we keep going anyway. Cause we know no other way. Cause you can't kick. You ain't gonna kick us down. You're not gonna keep us down. You like water, go. we're gonna rise. And I'm not gonna quote Maya Angelou, but that's not what she said in her poem. But I was gonna start quoting, and still I rise. But I'm not gonna do that because this is Marlon's show. You be respectful. But it is. But that's okay. no. It is not. I, I'm. I'm. I'm not gonna get on this. No. No. Well, I don't. Yeah, it is water. Mm-hmm. It is not in different parts of the country. Yeah, some people do say water. I mean, mm-hmm. I say water, but okay. some people say wrestling, which you're the only person I know that says wrestling. Sure, the rest of us it's say wrestling. Sound. We've always said wrestling. Always. I have never heard that before. We've always mm-hmm. said wrestling with an R. Always. It has an R, 